Hello everyone, this is Iris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Shamwoko Let's Play. We continue for episode 5 from turn 40 in the summer season of 198. So last time we confederated Lady Juro and picked up quite a few fealties because Mengho and them had a relationship. So we have all but Wutugu, which means we can unite the tribes very soon, but we'll do it in order. We're going to wipe out Mengho first and then take care of Wutugu and go to war with the Han factions after that. Because our goal here is not to end as the king of Nanman, but the king or the emperor of all of the Han factions as well. So there's quite a few things we need to do as we have ranked up as well with the fealties. We're now ruler of the south, or actually we're the king of Nanman. We'll get the ruler very soon. We have the seer position available in our court. So we need to find someone for that bonus. Satisfaction. Essentially, these four are prime minister positions. So we want characters with good background. Tai can come down now. And we'll make him a cave lord and we'll figure out who we want to promote. Our court is also expanded with all the people we have confederated. I know for a fact that Yangfeng here gives pretty good ammo boost and we might consider that depending on how we want to structure our armies. I think for Nama factions the range units aren't that strong so maybe not. We'll take a look at everyone especially former faction leaders to see who can provide the best bonuses for us. All we'll those bonuses. 10% additional charge for elephant units. It could be upgraded one more time. I'm not sure. If it's that great. The elephants already have enough charge in my opinion. Now Dialy definitely needs to be somewhere. Maybe just the council. Lady Jural, 10% melee damage for tiger units, also not really that great. And we can't find a single good character to slap in there right now. Plus four public order. The weapon is bounded, I think. So we cannot swap it out unless we get him killed. Uh, that like using it is fine. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Big deal is how to deal with our courts. And his background's definitely not worth it. He's a brilliant officer, he'll do well as... Uh, we don't have a good commander for him either, but uh, we can always swap afterwards. Let's put him in fooling first. We can make someone heir. Lady Jurong's bonus for tigers, Mulu's bonus. For elephants, they're all very niche and not very universally good. I mean, Dong Tuna is actually, the food production is not terrible, given that we want to go tall. And once we do go tall, we can get more population income in our commanderies. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we have a great candidate to be in any of those positions, but someone needs to be there. Uh, Dai Lai needs to be here. It doesn't leave us. I think that fixes him. Yep. We could slap our sister down for now if we wanted to. Instead of making her a cave lord to keep her happy. She has the honest trait, she has extra food production. Not a terrible combination, all things considered. 
He's also family. And I wouldn't hate getting rid of her later. Slap her here first. Now we also have some characters that we can add. Like there's 10% movement on Reckless Vanguard, which is quite good. We essentially beat Lady Jorong using the movement bonus we got from Mulul's event. She has a lot of items. She's definitely coming in. And I honestly think this 10% movement might be the best we can get. Plus he has an item as well. we'll grab her for the item as well. We'll recruit everyone with items. We have the cash for it right now. Honest. Not terrible. Pacifist for administrator position. We can hang on to him for a little bit. Okay, we're going to fire her. I'm actually thinking of making him our... Seer for now. He used to be in Yangfeng's faction. Yep. And pretty sure we're firing you, Yangfeng's wife. Not our problem. I think we can fire her as well. Huh. You married... We're gonna divorce... for her? And then kick him out? I'm okay with preserving the pair of Lady Zhuo and Meng Huo. They do have Power of Love as a passive ability, so it makes sense for them to stick together. And then we'll keep everyone else. He's not going to get a bow, he's going to get something to increase his satisfaction. Trade Influence. Okay, so we let our sister become our heir for now. So she's going to get all the items that can help us. All right, they're still gonna resist up there. We're gonna still take care of rebels. Oh, we need some help. Get a third. All right, let's see what it upgraded to. Plus eight military supply, own territory for his own army. Not terrible. This is going to be our next target. Getting out of this forest. We should still have the movement boost for three more turns. That should help us get through this most difficult part here. And then these two be easy to grab. Tiger units are available. This Nandro elephant is probably what we want the most. We inherited an army that I don't like. I think we're going to simplify this army because their job is going to just be defending against Ingshal's potential attack from here. And we can reset this group. And we'll give the two elephant allocations that we have over to Mulu's unit. 
Mm. Have them end up in the settlement. A little bit of help for their supplies. I could also try to resummon them. That's probably not needed. Our stubborn generals can be summoned back here. That faction support should die down. Yeah, we shouldn't have too much trouble. If an army pops out, we can always slap on a stubborn general early. But I think we'll have this group go over here. Oh, we should also kick him out. Yeah, I don't think we're keeping him. We can't recruit anyone for them right now. But eventually, I think Monghua is going to go with them. Husband, wife, plus brother. It should be a very strong army. They can help us take care of the south. Alright, I think we are good. I think we're happy with most of the general we're keeping. Essentially, burn officers, plus former faction leaders, plus our sister. And Wu Xun. Just for the pacifists, maybe it's too much. Like, we don't need to keep them. Yeah, not just not for the pacifists, not worth it. We'll keep a lot of our court positions empty for now. It's not a lot of great buildings. We do have a bit more food now, so if we're going to upgrade anywhere, Jenning is going to be the place. I want to move the capital here before we rank up too much and it costs way too much. It still costs a bit too much right now, but we can probably get it to work. We'll deal with it next turn. I think we're good. I think we're just not going to build anything because we still need to build up a second army. Yeah, these will take a while. Let's continue. Ooh, Utubu might get wiped. Lady Jurong did give birth. We finally have six food. And this movement helps a lot. We should be able to take this. Since that is level one, we could go take it now if we wanted to. Which I think we might do. How do they- oh, they have administrator. Tricky. Like, how do they get units in there? It's fine. We'll take our time. No sneaking it. All right. Who are we adding? Sini for the extra armor in the army. Extra charge bonus. That might work. For his own retinues, though, so maybe less attractive because we're thinking about what we can put on the tiger units. Or we temporarily just keep them as an army of two because we do intend to put Mohua in here. Neither of them have really any good bonuses for their own retinue. Mm, Delta doesn't have a lot of population. I think we do want to get back over here and recruit in Zonko territory. Just have no vision here. It's a little scary walking across. Yeah, it's only 12%. It's really low. 
here we have some extra bonuses. There's at least 4% there. Yeah, we'll inch back across. We're gonna get one more rebellion here. Any of them want to join the army? Supplies, not so much. Another 10% replenishment, but that's actually quite good. We'll put Dontuna with them. That'll get that army running a little bit quicker. Yeah, there's not much to do. Um, we still have a lot of cash. But that's intentional. Green building, two turn construction. Green building. Although I don't really want to build up fully. Yeah, well, Ling's not terrible. She also has surplus market. Minus six reserve. Alright, let's boost some cash. Oh. Trade with Ilya is lucrative. Okay, Wu was down to one piece of land. We gotta go take him out quickly. This should keep him off our backs until we wipe out Meng Huo. So the fact that Wu Tugu was down to one piece of land. Makes me want to do something else here. So instead of arming Lady Zhuro and them with the cash we have right now, we want to arm the group that's currently at the copper mine. And we want to take out Wu Tugu quickly. Right, because if they get wiped by Liu Yan, we just don't get the stack. That would be tragic. We can only get two more. So we're, we'll come out to be eight points. Uh, I think the most efficient one would just be to go with our Might of the Valley. Nanjong champions are pretty good too. Have more defensive stats. Damage is way less. Most of it is not armor piercing, but still an axe unit and our base damage bonus that we get faction wide is probably better for them. Wolf packs are also really good. Let's do a mix. Let's do like four, six of these, six of these, and since we do have a bunch of burn officers here, maybe six fire archers. I'm going to give them two of these just to make sure they can handle everything. And once they're relatively healthy, we'll just spring on them. We'll cancel our deal and be a little bit treacherous. Or we can just go through here into here. We have options. It's not a big deal. Oh, they're launching. It'd be better if they take a piece of land, actually. Oh, they signed a peace deal. Huh. They signed a peace deal with each other. Silver Nunman armor. We want that. All 
All right, their enemies are going to be pretty easy going forward. We're just going to keep delegating here. I'm going to take her out. I'm going to slap in Don Tuna for his 10% additional replenishment here so that we can heal up as we move forward. Ooh, that is not what we want. I demolish it for now. These we can keep. We're gonna wait one more turn and then we're gonna go for the settlement and not for the army because we basically pick those up for free once we take their last piece of land. This is the scary army we can't let them die to. Should we gamble? Uh, we can just get through quickly. Let's go. Don't see anyone. Good. We'll eventually recruit something for them. But they're not our first priorities here. Alright, Rebellion incoming here. Slap another general for them to use. Guess we'll splurge here. Since we're going to predominantly build here. Get another building slot. A lot of the industry percentage boost buildings is actually going to work out for us. And that might be it. Okay, we spot armor here, army here. I think this is our movement bonus should have, yeah, it's gone now. I'm a little worried about the army that we saw. They could come back and attack us, but then we can just kind of use the towers to get them. So I'm going to still delegate here. Not going to be too concerned. We're going to employ you first. Figure out if I like you or not afterwards. He does have some, quite a bit of satisfaction boost, plus the fondness that he has acquired. Decent background bonus. Southern Wrath. A decent ability. Fresh character to build from. Maybe we keep him for now. He's just 55, a little old. All right, they can obviously come attack us. They can attack the Maya as well. I think if we want to do anything with the mine, I want to give him one more turn just to bounce this back down a little bit more. Still don't see any pressure from here. I guess we won't be paying anything there. Vacated. Okay, this is where we backstab him. Because if this is his only settlement, okay, we can't get the movement right, but essentially we got him. It will work itself out. It's fine. I'm willing to pay to make... He's our neighbor now. Ooh. This is going to be a problem eventually. He does not like us one bit. Alright, at least we got a trade agreement for now. He's captured the entirety of Lingling. Ling. He's been pushed down south by Liu Biao. That's not good for us. I'll worry about him soon. But let's finish up the deal here.
We should have snuck closer. We should have just landed and attacked next turn. It would have been smoother. All right, we're good. They might attack. A big mistake, but they're doing it. I might try to get the elephant killed so we can break the recruitment limit. There's a trick we can do. As long as they're wiped and they need to be remustered, they don't count against the limit. And we can easily multiply our three point limit into six. Eventually, we'll build the proper buildings to increase our limit, but those still take some time. So it's a little easier for us to cheat out three more elephants early on. Uh, so we can suicide the elephants into them. Everyone else should escape. Should not duel, and they should escape as well. They have slingers on top. Hopefully we can make it there. A couple already dying. Don't get bogged down. Charge through. Yeah, elephants are just really strong. Like, we don't have many here, and we're still just absolutely wiping them. Inside? Are they outside? Can't really see battle rules and cameras. I think she's outside. Need to get some distance first. There we go. The rivalry is gone, so after one victory together, we don't have that rivalry bonus anymore. Therefore, we don't really need to keep them together in the same army going forward. Alright, we're gonna just get our elephants back. Hopefully they can make a showing. Try to charge at the last guy. Is 
to go and charge them through. The generals kill their elephants. That's no big deal. It's going to happen. Alright. They're not going to do much more. Let's see if they can just do some more damage. Alright, that's it for them. Hopefully they die, though. Alright, we're going to activate our generals now. Mu actually can stay. He's on an elephant mount. It's not going to be that useful. We're going to try to get them out to leave the settlement. We'll go over here. Capture their... Tower here. Alright, they don't have any relationship boost together, which is good. Don't really care about the interior towers. It's also not a victory point. Not reacting to it as much as I thought they would. Hmm, how should we get rid of these guys? We can kill the slingers real quick. Be pretty easy. Alright, we probably want to wait for a cooldown. We probably want to wipe out this guy real quick. We'll come back for them later. Okay, they're done. I'm counting on army loss eventually. Assuming no one... Yeah, no one's unbreakable. Kill the javelin. Technically a range unit, I think. Can we get them to chase us outside? Perfect. Sniper. Ooh, it's okay. It's okay if he routes. Faster than you guys. He bounced back. Army lost. Yep. We might capture most of them here. We have a rank advantage and heroic victory on top of that. Alright, we only lost one elephant, unfortunately, but that's that's fine. We can work with that. Right, this is where it complicates things. Wow, we delegated really poorly. I mean, they have a garrison here, but still. We should put the rank 5 general in front. Their general became wounded, not ours. Oh, you got two rank in that one fight. That should get us the tribes. Uh, 
Uh, we'll hire you first. We are now under one banner. We have the entire reform tree unlocked. And we will become the choice here for the High Emperor or King of Naman. Naman tribal leaders look down on you for your Han ancestry, whilst the Han treat you with suspicion for your sympathy for the plight of the southern tribes. Some even dare to call you a savage. Now, however, being a son of both worlds, you are in a unique position of being able to guide the Naman people towards a better future. It's therefore time for you to choose which path you wish to tread. The world beyond your borders is rife with violence of a various man. They, If they sense weakness, they will not hesitate to take what's yours. So we'll lose... 30 points of satisfaction for all Neman, but we'll gain 80 diplomatic relations, or we will conversely choose the other. Uh, this is going to be tough, but that's what we're doing. Uh, Shamoko does not have Han Estuary, historically speaking. That's just for the story in the game. Uh, the Northerner play their politics, as is their way. Perhaps a stronger presence is required, one who is able to wield both pen and blade with equal strength. Become Emperor, right? Conquer and control all Emperor seats. 95 settlements, currently we have 20. We have a new victory condition. We united the tribes, we have a satisfaction hit across the board. So we're gonna fix that. Duosu is back in the pool. We welcome him back into the fold. Then it's really, who had, we just fired him. How much prestige do we have? We need about 94. Okay, we gotta fix the quartz. Not too bad, not too bad. Bonus, blowpipe and range unit attack speed. 10% armor for all shielded infantry. That's not terrible. He didn't get a grudge, I'm very thankful. Probably not going to keep him. Not terrible. Also wife of Utubu. We just captured him. I think we're going to fire him though. Our worst satisfaction. Aha. You came back to us. We fired him from earlier. Right, so I think what's going to happen with this army is that we're going to take all the items and fire all three of them. That way we don't have to deal with the fact that they're deep in enemy territory. I think it's him. Let's make sure the name is... No, it's not him. Yeah, the name is right. Alright, stubborn Meng Huo. 13 points. Yeah, we have minus 40 essentially going forward for the next 20 ish turn. A satisfaction setup here. It's gonna be tough. Alright, they've been pretty wiped, but the garrison's not really strong, so it's gonna be tough getting that. This army. Might get deleted just because it's gonna take so long to get that ready again. Ah, we want him. We can get one extra. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, did they fix this? Where we no longer can cheese out the extra unit. That's good news, actually. We do just wipe them. 
摆设宴席，欢呼庆祝吧！这次饶你们一命，都放了吧！快滚回去吧！正在行进。Yeah, looks fixed. That's good. Hmm, gotta think about how we want to manage our Han relationships. Looking at the money amount, we should have enough to move our capital to Jianning next turn. It's a big expense, but I think it's going to be worth it. And then we really need to fix our court. Dalai is ready in a position of power. Lady Zhurong is not right. We recruited her. Armor piercing damage for her own army. That's not a bad bonus. Southern Wrath plus Defying Cry. She's a good character. I think we can keep her. I think he's gone. Zuosu might be hard to use. Really going to be running a poison army? I don't really think so. Anyways, we will ignore most of them. Focus on wiping out Monghua first. Uh, Cave Lord, Yunnan deserves one. Deserves a good one, actually. Let's move. Brand Officer, Brand Officer, Brand. Oh, we already used up all three. Then maybe, I mean, Jiang Yang also needs one. But we should shift. Where's our current? Zhang Ke, Jian Ning. Fu Ling doesn't need one right now. We shift, shift. Yeah, a little bit of sadness from being revoked, but nothing too bad. I guess we can keep the Yunnan one empty for now. She seems okay. He likes declaring war, but he doesn't like to fight us, which is interesting. All right, we're just going to get Meng Huo first and then figure things out from there. Well, we had 15k, we could have spent it. Jiljin? Okay. Tribal tension rise? Some would call you a traitor. The decision is not there to make. Yeah, this is the tough part of the campaign, or to get the tribes to understand that we want to be an emperor. They have to wait 
quite a while to get these units to bounce back, but shouldn't take, I mean, about the same time it takes them to get back. We want Myatron to join us as well. He has a satisfaction boost on his background. That's super important. Public water boost. He's the best tribal leader that we can get. So we definitely want him. This war declaration, not so scary. Uh, I'm thinking about slapping Wutu Gu down here. First things first, capital moves. Now we're out of money. Now why do we keep you? Because you have high satisfaction. It's probably not a good enough reason though. It should be at least safe. You don't have to worry too much about losing it. All right, looks like they're not going to have any more rebellions. We can start recalling these guys. We don't really have money to develop anywhere. We can build that. That's about it. We lost a trade partner. Okay, we gained a new one. Tall Tall's willing to trade with us. 4.3. We can make that work. Wow, our sister. Uh, we would like to get their character. Nineteen point. Okay. Um. One thing at a time. Plus, we're trending to like X. Okay, so we're gonna fix trending first because we got those eighty points. But we're trending towards one, right? So we can get it to at least neutral. And then it should be easier to do stuff with him. Alright, it's ready. Not so bad. And I think with him, same thing. Before... Oh, he also has marriage available. His sister's single now? It's a little early, isn't it? Or is it his mom? His brother. Okay, he just turned 16. Ooh. Um... I mean, the sister is coming soon. It's going to be a marriage slash divorce because we probably want the sister. Okay, we can kind of see Sun Tzu's territory. He's stretching east. We're basically speeding up the trend. So none of them declare war on us before that trend becomes bad. Alright, so he's he's a neutral. We're not going to get him too friendly. But how much do you like your brother? 11.8, 11.8, 11.8. 11 Our untrustworthiness is hitting us a little bit. We're losing 1.8 because of respectability. Is Sun Quan worth taking? Is... Tauren worth taking? 
Got a little bit better. We can get it about two one points down. I can get this. I can get this to positive, I think. I mean, being on Cao Cao's good side is definitely something we would love to get. Alright. It's neutral already. I'm guessing this is 2 point. Okay, 2.3. We can do that. I don't want to use food on this yet. 1 point. 2 point. 3 point. Gujunla. Depending on the idea, 8.1. wonder if it'll shift if we get him to positive. Alright. Positive 1. The color code is still yellow. 5.1 Pricey. A little bit better. Respectability is actually a big deal for them. So if we wait a little bit. Because these deals will go. These points will go away pretty soon. Uh, I mean, our man Sun Quan might become unavailable. He might get married away to some other faction. Assuming factions have daughters. But do I really care about Sun Quan though? Not really. Yeah, not really. Getting that trade deal is probably the most important part of this. Let's continue for now. Oh, why do you care about our support? Everyone, except for a few people, really like this. And honestly, we don't mind. We could just take the deal as is. Chen Gong is adopted into his family? Chen Gong's bonus is not good. I don't think this is worth a marriage. I'll take it for the cash. Yeah, some friends. There's a couple guys who like the idea. Okay, I like the fact the army's out here. Then if we can if we can sneak on both, we can actually grab it easily. Oh, we got the breakthrough. We finished the reform. So we're now able to get two more cave lore positions. And a bunch of other things. Um, we need satisfaction. So these things are things we need to push out. And then obviously research rate will speed things up going forward. I feel like we can reach it. It's a race against time for us. The most ideal timing would be for us to grab this. Which is a little difficult from where we are. While that army is not home. Wait, can we do it with just summon characters? We could probably do it with some of... Like, the garrison's not that big. These armies here. I can... Potentially... Take it with two characters. Alright, maybe we can use off guard spam. Who's the other character we're gonna use? Someone unbreakable, perhaps? She'll be a good choice. 
Both of them have a retinue, so they're, they'll be expensive to get out. Okay, so we're going to try this plan. We're going to try to speed up the Confederation so that we can focus on other things. What we're going to do is summon a random proxy. Summon Utu. Uh, we can move him into here. The more movement from the settlement. Okay, we can't afford the other girl. He's unbreakable. So we'll use him. The problem is, I don't think we have enough movement to get there. If I recall him, does he have... We did this wrong. If we summon here, we can have one general attack it, and one general probably can't kill all of this. Yeah, so this plan doesn't work. We'll do it properly. It'll take them a few, like two turns to get there. Yeah, a bit unfortunate. We were hoping for quicker, but doesn't look possible. I could have gotten one general to fight it. That's about it. I'm not too concerned here. Wait. How we become Oathorns? When did ah? So she said just broke our deal as well. Since he lost his route to us. Ah, he lost the piece to Liu Biao. Oh, this this is excellent news. His adopted daughter. Why are you not snatching up Sun Quan then? Oh, no, 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 hold on. This is good if we have a great relationship with Liu Bei, because if Liu Bao dies, he confederates. Then we can. Wait, is Liu Bei? Why is he. He has land here, right? I hope. Okay, I mean, that at least solves the temporary trade problem. War with Shrisia is a little bit trickier. That faction grudge is really bad. We're gonna have to start decking out their army and start fighting our way down here. Seems like we just have to clean up the coast. Oh, Xunyo is working for Shrisia. Interesting. She says also, so Shrisia's main army is over here. That's good news for us. It's very far away. We're gonna wipe out this area and then start challenging the south at the same time. But Meng Huo is first. This is still priority number one. Who's angry? It's just Dai Light. He's. I mean, we, we can't do anything else for him. He's here. We don't have good cave lord candidates, and we're not really building anything, so I don't think it's that rushed to get ourselves a cave lord. Become a vassal, guarantee our autonomy. Mm. Now only 10.3, oh it's actually back to 10.3. Still training well. We're starting to lose that respectability issue. Five more turns.
Okay, they didn't reach it. But we don't have an army that can reach the lumberyard. We trespass. We could trick him. We can betray him with a peace deal. We become more untrustworthy. I mean, or we can just have army here. Dude, well, their army is actually super weak, to be honest. Yeah, this is fine, actually. Just by putting our army here, I don't think they can do much. We need to save money for them. Uh, we can add Meng Huo to them soon. Only kept her for energetic. And her, uh, her ability is not great. And she's the wife of... Well, she's also really old, so... Never mind. She's getting fired. Where is she? What's her name? Yeah, I don't see her. Oh, no, right here. Wutubu's wife, of course. I don't think you attack. That's our gamble here. Ooh, Renshaw has his field day with vassals. Our respectability will drop by about four points over the next four turns, so... I'm gonna wait. I don't think anyone's marrying Tara anytime soon. It's gonna be okay. We should also keep checking back for Sun Ren coming of age. No, 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 no. I don't care if we have a real son. That's a fake son as well. Our daughter, our sister, is gonna be a much more useful political piece. Duo Si's in our faction, you know, asking a lot of good questions. Oh, here comes Shi Xie's stack. Still about two, three turns away, we should be okay. Yuan Shao, Yuan Shu going to war with each other. Some things never change. Yep, improving. I don't have a, a son, or I have myself. I'm single. Yeah, so we can we can use ourselves to marry. Yeah, they can't do anything. So we take their settlement and it's over. Alright, this army did its job. Oh! We have assassin. We get our... A terrible trait here. We could have dodged behind Molu, but we're okay. What trait do we pick up? Oh, we didn't pick up in. Oh, wait, no, right here. Maimed. Ah, that one kind of hurts. Melee damage, though, doesn't hurt us that much because we don't have any melee damage. Or armor, our armor piercing damage is all we have, so that's fine. A loss of expertise kind of hurt. Alright, we picked up my Atron. We're gonna use him as our seer or our heir, doesn't matter which position, just to get the bonus for satisfaction. Uh, we're gonna use that battle sort of as our save point. We have confederated all the tribes. We don't have all the numb on land. There's a piece missing here. And that's fine. It's a farmland piece, not a big deal. If we can keep up our relationship with uh, I mean it's actually green, someone who actually likes us. We'll be okay with it. We're going to turn our attention south. We want to wipe out this corner of the map so we have a secure base to work from. 
uh, we have enough naval trade routes that we should be able to still trade and not worry about losing trade partners here. Uh, it's green. They like us. All those attitude bounces help, but they still declare war, so we still have to deal with that. And long term wise, it's better if we just hold these land ourselves. And then I guess it's to make a move against Sun Tzu uh, at that point. We're going to wait till his sister comes of age, make her our empress. Uh, we can grab Taurin eventually. He'll be a good character to slap into the court. Uh, the character, the background bonus isn't that great. There's not anyone who I can think of that has a great background bonus that we could utilize that we can get from marriage. Like, is Liu Zhang still single? His food boost is not terrible. There are worse. There are worse bonuses. Uh, he's willing to sell his son out. Right? Maybe we grab Liu Zhang. There's a, there's a lot of targets we can do with marriages. If we save enough money for divorces, we can rack up a couple suitable candidates that we kind of trick to join our faction, give us some legitimacy. Uh, we can get a Liu, uh, Liu to marry our sister, which definitely helps. Every single character should be available to us now that have been spawned, as long as they don't hate us. We should have a chance to recruit them. It's not that many great ones. And uh, we'll pick out whichever one we can and also spend some time messing with our court because it looks like... Oh, we didn't get a grudge. It's just he wants a position. We can make that happen. Naman evasion for... Uh, melee evasion for Naman units. Very, very good. Also not a grudge. Okay. Ah, we have a grudge here. Among Jie. That's going to be tough. Minus 30-something points to work through. Uh, basically, we have to try to see if we can keep our court happy. We've got to reassign generals to different positions so that we can use them to fight and make our push against the southern factions. So, until next time, bye!